Welcome back to Geography Teacher YouTube channel. Last time we learned some of the Earth's basic geological and relief characteristics. Today we'll find out something about its basic climatic characteristics. What is climate? What types of climates do we have on Earth? Which are the climatic factors? What is atmosphere and why is it important? In which ways climate can affect our lives? Stay with me till the end and find out. If you like this video at any point, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more informative content. According to Austrian meteorologist Julius von Hahn, climate is set of all meteorological elements that characterize the middle state of the atmosphere at different points on the Earth's surface, especially in their relations to the organic world. Basically, it can be considered as a statistical average weather profile over a long period of time. Climate of our planet is influenced by various factors. The latitude or spherical shape of the Earth has an influence in terms of the distribution of solar radiation, which automatically leads to a different distribution of air temperature and has further effects on other climatic elements, like evaporation, precipitation, winds, and so on. Altitude has an indirect effect on the climate. As the altitude increases, the air temperature and pressure drops the wind often changes direction and clouds and precipitation rise to a certain height and then begin to fall. The consequence of the influence of altitude is the existence of vertical climatic zones that are best reflected through the distribution of vegetation that changes with increasing altitude. Also, depending on the increase in altitude, human settlements are distributed, but that distribution is different going from the equator to the poles. The layout of land and sea has a notable role in shaping the climate of some area. The distance from the sea reduces the effect of the sea on air pressure, which has a significant impact on air temperatures. An important climatic factor is the relief, which in addition to altitude, can also influence the climate with its morphology. For example, some mountain ranges do not allow with their height warm air masses to reach the interior of the mainland. As another connection between climate and relief, we can take the sunny and shady sides of the mountain massive, where the sunny side is warmer and, at the same time, richer in moist soil and vegetation, which further have their own effects on the climate of that local area. Depending on their temperature, ocean currents can have significant effect on the climate of an area. For example, cold ocean currents result in frequent fogs. Vegetation, snow and ice cover also have certain effects on the climate. Vegetation, by its type and age, influences the daily differences in temperature. Snow and ice cover act as thermal insulators by reducing heat radiation and with their albedo they cause a reflection of solar radiation, which affects low air temperatures. Human influence can also change the climate through deforestation, building the settlements and artificial lakes, releasing greenhouse gases, and so on. Some climate factors have influence on global, and some of them are more influencing the local level of space. Taking into account geographical factors that have an impact on macroclimate, several types of climb can be classified. Depending on the level of generalization, climate types can be classified into simpler types and into much more complex ones. According to simpler level of generalization, there can be about six climate types like this. On the other side, if you want to take much more criteria, then there can be classified way much more than six climate types. 
One of the most popular criteria for classification of climates is made by Russian-German scientist Vladimir Koffer. It is worth mentioning the division into climate zones established during the time of ancient Greeks. According to this division, the Earth can be divided into one hot zone, two temperate and two cold zones, going from the equator to the poles. They differ in the alternation of the seasons. In the hot zone and the polar zones, there are no differences between the seasons, while in the temperate ones, there are clearly pronounced transitions between all four seasons. All processes related to the climate take place thanks to the atmosphere. The atmosphere is the gaseous layer of the planet Earth and has the role of a regulator of harmful influences that come to us from space, which is also the reason why we have so much different climate elements and changes. Now, let's see how climate can influence humans' daily life and activities. Climate is very important when it comes to organizing life. It can be a strong development factor, but also it can be a big development break. How can climate be a good development factor? This is very easy to conclude. It is enough that some area has enough precipitation, sunny days, moderate humidity, not too high and not too low temperatures in summer and winter without climate disasters. In short, all parameters of meteorological elements should be within the limits that do not endanger the normal life and development of people and their activities. A favorable climate is the most important when it comes to food production, and the complexity of agricultural production techniques depends on it. For example, if a certain area does not have a sufficient amount of precipitation during the vegetation period, then production will require special irrigations and maintenance techniques. An excellent example of that is Israel. It is a country that, due to its climatic conditions, was forced to save water, which resulted in creating the famous drop-by-drop -drop irrigation system, which is considered as the best irrigation system in the world, and that is a positive result of negative climate influence. As for the temperature, it can significantly affect the position of the settlement. Like I mentioned, an increase in altitude leads to a drop in temperature, which would automatically mean that as the temperature drops, so does the population, because it is colder at higher altitudes. However, this is not the case when it comes to countries in the hot zone, where air temperatures are way much higher than in places north and south from the equator. In these countries, with the increase in altitude, the number of inhabitants is also growing, which is completely opposite in relation to the areas in higher latitudes. For example, civilizations of the Aztec, Maya and Inca were actually well developed at high altitudes in the Andes, which would be impossible if there were low temperatures. Settling down there was continued by Spanish colonists. There are some cities set above 2000 and 3000 meters from the sea level. Mexico City, with population of more than 12 million people, is at 2,300 meters. Bogota in Colombia, with over 7 million people, is at 2,660 meters. Quito in Ecuador has a population over 1 million, but the altitude of the city is about 2,850 meters. And finally, officially the highest capital in the world, La Paz in Bolivia, is at 3,660 meters above sea level. Some cities, because of their geographical position, had a role of temporary summer capitals during the summer period, which means that the officials leave the official capital city and move to their summer capital until the end of high temperature seasons. In India, the government was leaving New Delhi and moved to Shimla in Himalayas but doing this was too complicated, so it was stopped. If you have more ideas on how climate can have effects on our lives and organizing communities, feel free to write it in the comments below. Thank you for staying until the end of the video. I hope you learned something new. 
be sure to like, comment, share the video and click on the subscribe button to give me support and to become a part of the community who wants to learn something new. Also, you can follow me on Pinterest, Instagram and Pixabay. Be sure to download a free PDF workbook in order to review what you learned today. If you are interested in some geographical scientific papers and articles, be sure to check links in the description of the video. If you have some ideas and suggestions, feel free to tell me in the comment section. See you soon in the next video. Take care.